tell you how this whole concept and idea uh, came about. All right, so I'm gonna come over here, I'm gonna open up uh, YouTube, and this is our channel for the Entrepreneur Live Show. Now, many of you are already familiar with the show. Uh, a lot of you have been on the show, and if you haven't been on the show yet, come talk to me. Uh, but as you can see, we're just taking our episodes and we're loading them inside of YouTube. So then of course, we're taking the embed code and we're putting it in our WordPress page, we're putting the video on our bonus pages, and for a lot of you, we've been able to crush your promotions uh, because of this show, okay? However, that's all fine and dandy, but that's not the overall solution that we were looking for. What we wanted to happen is, when we're done filming this show, we would upload it to YouTube, and then as soon as we loaded a new video into this channel, it would automatically populate our fan page and it would populate our WordPress website, okay? And there was nothing that did that even remotely close to what we wanted. So we said, screw it, we will build our own solution. So this product was built to solve a problem that we were having. That's usually when we do the best with our launches, okay? So I'm gonna show you how this works. I'm gonna go ahead and sign in. All right, now I'm over here on the dashboard. I'm gonna go ahead and click create new campaign. And this one right here, we're gonna go ahead and call this show, okay? Now, the next thing is, I'm gonna go ahead and choose a template that I see here on the screen. For right now, I'm gonna go ahead and choose this one right here. I'm gonna click proceed. And now you see that our video boards tab has opened up. Now watch this, this is really cool. The name of this campaign was show. So now what I need to do is I need to create new categories for my page. So I'm gonna click this button here. I'm gonna create a category called launch videos. Okay, and I'll go ahead and use that for the description. Then I'll do another category for testimonials. Go ahead and use that for the description. And then I'm gonna create one more category to store my videos. And I'll call that YouTube videos. Now watch this, I'll click submit. And so you see that I've got three categories here that I can work with. Now, what I'm gonna do to this one right here, this is gonna act as a bank for my videos. I'm gonna come over here and I'm gonna make this inactive. Now you see this red. Now what this means is this category and everything contained in it will not show inside of our gallery. However, we will now have two categories that will show in our gallery. So the next thing we need to do is we need to pull videos inside of this category. So that means you can pull videos into this category, into this category, into this category. You could actually pull from three different channels if you wanted to, but I'm gonna show you all these options. So you see that you can go ahead and pull in your video with a simple embed code. You can pull in YouTube videos with all kinds of options. This is what I'm gonna do. I'll show you this here in just a second. You can go ahead and integrate with your Amazon S3. You just come over here to integrations, you set that up, and then you can pull in your videos from your S3. And we even have it to where you can pull it in with Vimeo, but we know that most people are going to use YouTube. So you can go ahead and pull in your videos by a keyword from a specific user, a specific channel, a specific playlist. You can pull in uh, the most popular YouTube videos with a specific date, or you can pull in videos related to another video. Then you set your maximum results. And then this right here, guys, is the key that makes this software so amazing. When you're pulling in from YouTube, you can click this box here. And what this will do is this will pull in your video automatically on autopilot which means if I go ahead and put this link here, which is my channel, every single time I load a new video to my channel, it's going to pull into my gallery automatically. We don't have to do anything. So I'm gonna go ahead and click save and continue. And what's gonna happen is it's going to pull in 10 videos from my channel. So you see that it pulled in 10 videos it put them in this category and this category is set to inactive status, which means none of these videos or this category are going to appear on our gallery. Now, the next thing is we simply come over here and we say, all right, let's move this video to a launch video. Let's move this video to testimonial and you see how easily we can go and populate our categories. All right. So, once we're happy, we're gonna come down here, we're gonna click save and continue. And then what we need to do is we need to go ahead and do simple customizations to our template. So we can change the overall theme color, we can add our own logo. This is very helpful when we are hosting the gallery for them. Uh, and then we can enable opt-in forms, right? So you see that I've enabled my opt-in form. 
here it is right here. And then we're going to come up here and we're going to click publish. Very simple. Now look at the publish options we have made available. Number one, we have a direct link. Number two, you can go ahead and publish your gallery into WordPress. Number three, you can publish your gallery on a Facebook fan page or number four, you can download the HTML, load it on your server and host the gallery on your server. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna do the most popular one. We're gonna go ahead and host our gallery on our fan page. So I'm gonna click install on a new page tab. I'm gonna go ahead and choose my page tab. I'm gonna say install, and then it's gonna go and it's going to connect with Facebook. I need to choose my fan page. I'm gonna do this one right here. I'm gonna say add page tab, and there you go, you're done. Now, if we go ahead and copy that link, paste it in the browser, it's going to open up Facebook and we're going to go to our fan page. And this is what they would see if they normally went to your fan page. And you see that there's a tab here that says Video Hub number three. Now, we can very easily rename this tab underneath the settings. That's not a big deal. But if I scroll down, you see that here's my featured video. Here's my opt-in form. And then here is the two categories that I posted inside of Video Hub. And remember, we just did a simple drag and drop. The nice thing is now that you've published your gallery, you can very easily add to your gallery. Uh, you could shuffle the videos around, you can create more categories, do whatever it is you wanna do. And remember, when you're pulling in from YouTube, when you have that automatic settings, every single time a video hits your YouTube account, then it's gonna automatically populate your gallery. So you may have a gallery on WordPress, your fan page, maybe a, a site that we're hosting for you, or all of the above, okay? Ultra powerful. Now what I wanna do is I wanna give you guys a sneak peek into the OTO, all right? So here's the videos that we pulled in. And if I come over here to this little dollar sign here, I'm gonna go ahead and click this. Now you see that we have monetization options that you can add to your video. And yes, this is what's going to show up inside of Facebook as well. So we have annotations, banners, video ads, CTA buttons, okay? Very self-explanatory. We've done this before. You guys know how this works. However, we wanted to do something a little bit different. Rather than going through and creating a monetization campaign for each video, we know that there's a good chance you're going to use the same banners, you're going to use the same video ads, you're not going to change that, so you're going to have to go through and create that campaign over and over and over. So what we've done is we've created global settings for your monetization campaigns. So when you click this here, you now have the ability to go and create your campaigns. So you might have a banner campaign and a video ad, and then you're going to save that campaign with both of these features. And then when you're back over here on your shuffleboard, let me go ahead and go back over there. You're then going to go ahead and pull in that universal campaign so that you don't have to go and recreate each one of those campaigns. You have universal campaigns and we have it set up to where you're going to be able to set the universal campaign per category. So you may just go into each video and set the timing for the monetization campaign because it's dependent on the specific video and how long it is. All right. So we've really taken our time with this piece of software. We're going to make sure that it's ultra powerful and it's very useful, not only to us, but to everybody else using it. So the big question, who is this for? And the answer is very simple. It's for anybody that's using video. So remember you pull your videos in from YouTube, Amazon S3, Vimeo, and you can publish to WordPress, the Facebook fan page, your own server, or we'll host the gallery for you, okay? All the bells and whistles are here, the ability to manage your clients. This software will store your subscribers because we have opt-in forms in there. We also have opt-in forms inside the monetization campaigns, simple integrations, quick guide, video tutorials, Everything is here that makes this a real winner. Okay, so Video Hub, guys, it launches on July 16th.